This is the uh, April market report uh, for uh, Oakland, Macomb, uh, Livingston, and Wayne counties. And uh, when the snow melted, finally, the market has picked up again. Um, the first half of March is interesting. We look at our, our number of properties that people are viewing. In the first half of March, it was down about 23%. And you'd expect that to be a, a down because of the weather. And in fact, it followed what was down in February and, uh, and January as well. But the second half of March, it bounced right back up to what it was last year, which was really interesting because we have about a third fewer properties in that market for sale than we did last year. Now, going into April, it slid back down about 6 or 7% from last year, which would make sense, again, because we have fewer properties, there are fewer opportunities to, to look at properties. But overall, this still was pretty good news. We saw that, uh, that, that demand sort of piled up when the weather was poor. It got released the second half of March. And then it's settling back down in April for, um, for the balance of the month. What we're still waiting to see is exactly what will happen with the balance of the year. We know that there was some impact on weather, but we don't know how much of that impact will be. And probably won't really know until certainly the end of this month and maybe even the end of, uh, of May as well to figure out what's going on. We did take a look at the market breaking, broken up into segments, into the under $150,000 sale price, which is where majority of the activity is in those counties, the 150 to 400 and the 400 and above. And in those markets, if you look at those segments, you'll see that there really is a difference between the areas, particularly the under 150 market. There's a significant shortage of listings, and of course, any buyer will tell you that that's looking at that price range. Uh, what's also uh, concerning for us is that there's also uh, not a, a very high velocity of new listings coming onto the market. So the inventory keeps declining. There are more sales than, than new listings coming in the market each month. So that's a concern for us because what we saw actually in, um, in March specifically is the number of sales in that category actually declined. They really declined because there simply weren't enough houses for people to buy. Now, in the next highest group, the over 150 to, to 400 category, we saw a little more stability there. Listings are still short, and the new listings coming to the market are still slow, but they're not as slow as the under 150 category. In fact, we're seeing some listing stability there. We're also seeing a number of properties that used to be priced under 150. Values are up considerably, and they're moving into that other category as well. Also, in the 150 uh, to below market, we're uh, missing the foreclosures. It's moving to a um, uh, to more of a, a normal market, a, a, a regular sales market, and uh, and that's probably a, a concern for us in some ways. Certainly, the inventory is reduced, but um, but not enough home sellers are seeing that the values have risen enough to put their homes back on the market. I think there's a lack of understanding in the marketplace that values have risen considerably, particularly in that under $150,000 market, but actually in all price categories, values have risen considerably. So if you thought that prices had, had fallen too far, in many cases below your mortgage in the last few years, you'd be surprised to find out that values have risen considerably. Uh, now, uh, going to the final segment, the over $400,000 market, that really follows uh, the middle value market as well in that inventories uh, are still declining, but declining at a lesser pace. Uh, sales are up, but at, at a letter, lesser pace as well last year. But overall, uh, still a very healthy segment. In general, you'll find this year that, uh, that sales are probably be a little bit below, as we've been saying all along, below last year. But last year, again, was a peak year, so we don't expect sales to follow that every year. And you'll probably see things, particularly this spring, in the national media about the market slowing and slower home sales. Again, they're comparing to the very best years ever, last year and the year before. So we'd expect that to happen. But we're still seeing appreciation rates at the 1%, one, 1.5% one a, a month going into spring. We'd expected that to slow down, but because of the shortage of inventory and, and homes, the saleable homes for people to, to buy, we expect appreciation to still continue to be pretty strong through spring and into fall and maybe settle down them a little bit as inventories uh, come to the market. But overall, we're still getting some mixed signals for the market. 
we'll know more maybe mid-May, end of May, to know exactly where the real estate market is going. But we're talking about a degrees of goodness. It's still a good market, strong market. It's just that it, how much it's settling down to more of a normal market. We'll see in the next uh, 30 or 60 days. So that's it.